You don't get the nickname the KO Doctor by nursing fans with boring, drawn out fights. It's the kind of nickname you pick up when you end your first 16 pro fights all by way of knockout. It's the kind of moniker given to you when you have a 92% knockout rate. The KO Doctor is one of many names along with humble, friend and father you can call the 33 year old Cuban American fighter and the number 3 ranked cruiserweight in the world by the WBO, WBC and IBF. I'm talking Junior Dorticos. Dorticos burst onto the Cuban boxing scene, took the country by storm, competing in over 70 amateur fights as well as placing second three times for the Cuban national team while representing the small Caribbean island twice in the Boxing World Cup. Dorticos' dreams to represent Cuba on the ultimate stage at the 2008 Beijing Olympics were dashed when his country told him he would be forbidden to compete due to the fact that he was a high risk for defecting and being a traitor to Cuba. Dorticos had few options left in his native country, so he hopped on a boat and headed for Miami, Florida, USA. After his arrival to the States in 2009, he soon made his professional boxing debut. He blazed his way through competition, winning all but one of his first 21 fights by way of stoppage before making his debut on the first season of the World Boxing Super Series. Dorticos stopped Russian fighter Dmitry Kudryashov in the second round of his first fight of the tournament with a thunderous right hand that sent his opponent crashing to the canvas. Then in the semifinals of the tournament, he met up with another Russian fighter. This time it was Murat Gassiev. Both fighters entered the fight with undefeated records and after 12 hard fought rounds, Gassiev caught a tired and worn out Dorticos with a swooping left hook. The loss marked the first time in his professional career that Dorticos had tasted defeat. Gassiev would go on to compete in the tournament final, only to lose to the 2018 Fighter of the Year in Alexander Usyk. Dorticos would return to the second season of the World Boxing Super Series, this time matching up with Polish cruiserweight Matuas Masternak. Dorticos won the fight by decision, the first time in his career where he picked up a victory without finishing his opponent. In Dorticos semi-final fight, he wanted to rewrite his wrongdoings from his semi-final fight in the first season of the World Boxing Super Series. Dorticos dropped American fighter Andrew Tabidi in the 10th round to return to his finishing ways and set himself up for a date in the final of the tournament. Last 30 seconds and he's gone. He's gone. He's not getting up. He's over. As of now, Dorticos is set to face off with Marius Bredis in the final of the World Boxing Super Series. As of now is the key word in the statement. Bredis won his semi-final fight against Christoph Golowacki by knockout, but there was some heavy controversy surrounding the victory. During the second round when both fighters got caught in the clinch, Glowacki threw a left hand to the back of Bredis' head, only for Bredis to take a page out of UFC champ John Jones' playbook and throw an elbow to the jaw of Glowacki. Glowacki was clearly stunned by this elbow and Bredis quickly finished the fight soon afterwards. Whether it be a fight with Bredis in the final or perhaps another named opponent, just know one thing for sure, whomever the knockout doctor faces off with next, just know that the doctor is accepting new patients.